More Chinese mainland tourists are abandoning Hong Kong as a holiday destination. They're put off by the frequent protests recently against mainland visitors. While it may be the result some in the city hope for, for an economy dependent on tourism spending, it's actually causing concerns for so many others. Yu Li has our story. For years, Hong Kong has been a hot destination for Chinese mainland tourists. Up to 50 million mainland visitors come here every year, bringing profits to the local economy and different habits. In this video, which went viral last spring, a group of locals harangued a mother who let her child urinate in the street. After that, tourists from mainland are not so welcomed. Protests like these have become a regular occurrence. Of course I'm scared of the protests. I mean, it's not the government's problem. Hong Kongers are very disruptive. There's a possibility that we'll go elsewhere. Europe, France, Japan, even Korea is a place that we'll go. The local government has suggested cutting back the number of permits given to visitors from the mainland. But even without that change in tack, the tide is turning. The number of mainland tour groups went down 30 percent this February compared to the same period last year, and that of the first 10 days in March plunged 60 percent. A drop in visitors may soothe local residents, but it deals a major blow to local economy. The impact could be pretty substantial. So um, based on the estimates, about 40 percent of the Hong Kong retail market is actually driven by mainland um, tourists. And once they start closing down the shops, people will start losing jobs and that will affect local consumption, will affect residential prices. I think it would just be pretty disastrous for Hong Kong. Kao is just one of a handful of analysts downgrading their outlook for Hong Kong's economy. Retailers which line the streets attracting tourists could end up closing their doors, leaving local residences spacey but flagging town. Yuli, CCTV.